Rob Butler. Thank you very much, Mr Speaker. Uh, I support very much the carefully considered moves that have been announced today by my right honourable friend. They reflect the reality of the pressures on our prison estate and indeed on our excellent prison officers following the extraordinary impact of COVID. And I especially welcome the additional steps that he's announced to remove more foreign national offenders. The Lord Chancellor spoke uh, of a reset in probation. I wonder if he could uh, set out for the House in a little more detail how he hopes this will reduce reoffending and so cut crime, which of course is what we all want to see, fewer victims of crime. I'm, I'm very grateful to him for raising that. So probation is absolutely critical and I've made a point since coming into this role, not just speaking to senior probation officers, important though they are, but speaking to those probation officers on the front line, and it has been an incredibly instructive experience. One I, mentioned, I spoke to in Luton and Dunstable told me that the measures we've taken, by the way, to roll out 12 weeks guaranteed accommodation were the most significant steps that any government had taken in the 30 years that he'd been a probation officer. But as for the reset that I referred to, it will follow evidence, not emotion. In other words, it will allow probation officers to calibrate and prioritise their resource to those parts of the licence period where reoffending is most likely to take place. That's common sense. It follows the evidence. And ultimately, it's measures like that, which is why reoffending has gone down from 31%, 25% to 25%, saving a number of people from being victims of crime in the first place. Yeah, yeah, yeah.